thanks for tuning into the channel. Amanda Ray here and Bradley. We are doing the DSX auxiliary pump on the CTSV today. Finally getting around to doing it. We are going to have to put the CTSV on the two post lift um, to do it. We've never done it before. We've YouTubed it a couple times. We've asked a bunch of people who have done it before on their Vs. So it's going to be very interesting. Hopefully we don't screw it up. Drilling the gas tank is very scary but it um, is a necessary thing to be done. Um, there were other options we could have done, um, but this seems to be one of the best solutions. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, and uh, I'll be back with you in just a moment. So we've got the CTSV up on the lift. We are looking at the gas tank where we are going to be installing the DSX. And from all the videos and everything that we have looked at, um, the DSX goes right around here is where we're going to be drilling the gas tank. Very scary. It's on E. Hopefully not a lot comes out. We will see. I wrote it on E on purpose. I've been driving the Camaro for the past week. So I'm hoping nothing comes out. So we drill here, um, and then we run all the fuel lines kind of this way from what I've been told. Um, so yeah, we're gonna gather all the materials we need and uh, I'll be right back with you guys. Oh goodness, here we go. All right guys, so we are about to drill into my CTSV gas tank. I'm very scared. Um, I'm over here. So we're gonna start, um, it's very dark under here. We need lights. Um, we're gonna start with a smaller hole, so we're gonna do like a little pilot hole first, um, just to work our way up to the big bit, just to see. So we want it to be very tight, obviously. We don't want it to have any leaks. We're gonna use the sealant um, that it comes with, um, uh, or the sealant that DSX recommends and whatnot um, that the kit comes with. So we're gonna start with a small pilot hole first and uh, go from there. Wish us luck. You better catch it. Don't let it get all over me, please. I'm not guaranteeing nothing. <laughs> Alright, ready? Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Don't go like super fast. Yeah, just start seeing cool. Alright. Oh, woo! That's not Broke bad. Just drilled a nice big old hole into my gas tank for the DSX auxiliary pump, the fuel pump that's on the floor over there. The piece that is going to be going into that is right there in Bradley's hands, which you can't see because he's got ginger hands. This right here. The scariest part for this is drilling the gas tank, guys. Um, nobody wants to do it, which is why they make alternative methods so you don't have to drill the gas tank, but um, I decided to go this method mostly because I already had the DSX. So we're going to go ahead and finish this. We are going to tap the hole now for the fitting that needs to go in, which is this one right here. Um, it's the NPTF. It's a 3 8 
Um, one of my friends actually did this to his car. Um, he has a really sick white CTSV. He did it, so he let me borrow his, which is why um, the tape, I think, believe comes on it when you purchase it, or this is his, I'm not sure. But either way, so I know we're not supposed to go past the tape line. So this fits perfectly in the ratchet, so we're gonna use this. And this is just a 12 point. All I know is I'm gonna go nice and slow because there's no point in rushing this. And I wanna go as straight as possible. And we're going to the tape line and that is it. We're almost at the tape line, guys. I don't know if y'all can see. But we're going to stop at the highest point of the tape line for safety, which is this side right here. Which we're all... All right, guys. So we're going to be applying this piece with our little glue, which is just this. Do that again for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we've got the fitting in and tightened. Uh, now you got to wait 24 hours before you put any fuel through that. Um, so it's got to stay nice and dry-ish. Although the green stuff never really dries, from what I've been told. Um, uh, so the next step, guys, is going to be starting to mount all the fittings that we need to mount and the next one is going to be on to this blue one up here it's this one up here so we need to take this off with the 10 mil pull this down it's a pain in the but we'll get it done ow what? nothing though Super dark. So I just push this blue thing up. Oh. What was that? Squeeze it and pull. Squeeze? The blue doesn't squeeze, babe. It's hard. I don't think that's how the blue one works. Definitely not. The blue one's a clap. Just in case you happen to get it. <sighs> that thing is freaking. So to get this clip out, guys, just so y'all know, these two clips have to be pushed inward, and it's... Yeah, you push them in, and then the back, the back half pops it's out. It's nearly po impossible. It's very difficult. We had a very difficult time. It took a very long time to get it. And now we're still struggling to get the pipe up. Oh, my God. Let's see. You take the whole clip out. There you go. So, guys... This is the GSX tuning, um, the little T that we put on the fuel line that we had a very difficult time getting off. So, but this goes on in a matter of a millisecond from what I've been told. So, is it on? No. Does it pop on? Just push this in and then push the clip down. Oh. Bam. Yeah. Okay. Done. I got the T on up there. Now we gotta put the fuel line back on. Um, you want to make sure you don't kink this line. Um, it's very important. You don't want a kink in your fuel line. That'd be bad. Um, so we're going to go this way. I think that'd be the best way. I forget that that can move. Should sit right about there. No kink. Oh, it's a U, so that's good. And then I feel like there's sand. 
All right, guys. So we started working on everything and getting everything um, aligned with zip ties and getting it situated. So I'm just going to update you on where we're at right now. Um, we have it all done here. And it goes up through here into there. We have all the lines kind of where we want them to be. We still have to get one more bracket that we're going to put right here to hold them up. And then we've got this over here, maybe two brackets just for safety. And then we've got right here. Um, that's already mounted with self-tapping screws. Everything is already tightened. Um, we are going to be doing all the wiring and whatnot tomorrow because it is getting pretty late. Um, he has to work tomorrow morning and our food is getting cold on the floor. So we're going to go ahead and finish this up tomorrow and I will update you guys when we get back to it. Alrighty. Okay guys, so we are finishing up doing the DSX. Um, the easiest way to do this, from what I've been told, is to route the wiring down instead of trying to figure out how to route it up. Because trying to get this part up through the bottom is very difficult. But just getting the wire going down is easy because it's just this part. We are probably going to put the ground on this um, and then the red will go to this hopefully for the sensor. Um, I guess we'll go very tight spaces down here dude. So we decided to route the DSX this way. So there's the wire. We were thinking about drilling through this on the other side originally, because we really wanted to protect the wire from the header on the other side. Um, so what we did is we flushed it through that hole right there. So y'all can't see the actual hole, but that light where you see that little dim of light, that's where we were able to flush the wire through. And that actually connects out the back. Why that extra little hole is there, not sure. But it is actually on both sides of the car. So it is meant to be there. Um, this side's actually bigger, so it would have been easier to flush it through. But that part wasn't hard. It was getting it through. You see it moving? And then we flushed it through that hole through there and up in there. So now it's all protected from the header, so we don't have to worry about that. This um, we're gonna pull this extra slack up through the top following this, so it's protected from the header, so it doesn't get any damage. Um, all the way up to the top. That's our next step. And then, all right, so we've got the wire already over here. We are gonna do the sensor, which is the map sensor back here. Um, so this just pulls off, I believe, um, and then this goes on to this, I think it goes up this way, and then these two connect to each other, goes one way, beautiful. Alrighty guys, so we have the DSX officially done. I'm super excited. Um, so the sensors, the sensor, should I say, um, goes right back here, like I showed you before. Um, and it comes all the way, we routed it nice and clean, followed this all the way across, and comes right here. That's where we put the little module thing. Nice and tucked. Uh, we've got the grounds back here, and then the reds right there. It's um, super clean. You won't even see it once I put 
my cover back on. There is a the final product. The only thing you see is the red wire on the fuse box. Um, so yeah, it is completely done. DSX is installed. Now I just have to get some gas and make sure that there is no leak on the underside from when I drilled the tank. Thank you guys again for watching. We do appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for my next video. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the Joker's ported blower done on the Camaro. Um, and we have to, have to finish his motor. So that's what we're going to finish tonight, hopefully. Um, so yeah. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.